rocket fell on the building uh, near, to, near to me. It was a very big blast. I personally d d doesn't, didn't he heard the blast because I was in Tel Aviv, but my parents and all of my friends heard a big, really big uh, boom. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, for me, it was very terrifying. Like, uh, I took, uh, took care of my parents, of my family. <laughs> We actually hope that uh, both sides are going to have some peace uh, for the people. And uh, this circle must stop, uh, both of us, Israelis, Palestinians, we need to stop it. It's enough for all of us. We had enough. Email exchanges from inside the BBC, they talk about the risk of violating Indian laws. It's easier to rake up the freedom of speech debate, but does it give anyone a free pass to knowingly violate the law? America supports India because it needs India's support in return. And India is working with the US because it suits India's interests. This is how geopolitics works. Last night, he diffused a crisis with his defense minister. But today, Netanyahu was confronted with a new problem. His cabinet seems to have rebelled against him. The UK is looking at the Indian subcontinent to fill its coffers. That India seems to be negotiating from a position of power, like a partner and not a former colonist.